Welcome to the channel, my name is Danny Matthews. We're gonna skip the whole freaking intro and I'm just gonna tell you right now that today we're gonna be talking about film glow effects on your footage. Film glow effect. Film glow effect. Film glow effect. Why I'm making this video is because I've seen it on film videos and film cameras. It has that glow effect on the highlights and on subject and it looks super dope and I wanted that for a digital camera. So this is why I created this effect. If you guys are doing nothing with your mouse, go ahead and click on the like button while you're at it. And Let's jump into this tutorial. Я живу в Я живу. Я живич. I promise you that this tutorial is easier than learning Russian. So go ahead and pull up your Adobe Premiere. My Adobe Premiere layout is going to look a little bit different from yours. So here's my timeline. Over here to the left, I have my source. Here I have all my effects. And here, here's my effects control panel. And then here's my program panel and it shows the entire output of the video. So go ahead and go to the clip that you want to do this effect on. And what you're gonna do is go over here to your effects panel and type in VR Glow. So on these settings, you're gonna mess around with these. The Luma threshold is gonna be something that you want to avoid coming too low because then it just overblows the entire thing. If you like this look and you wanna go for it, then go for it. I personally wouldn't. Right about here, like a 0.9, honestly, that's like a perfect place to start. Your glow rate is gonna start at 100, and what I would do is go ahead and just pull this up to whatever you really like. Around 300 to 400 is gonna be a really good glow radius to kind of mask it and it kind of expands it, feathers it out a little bit, makes it more smooth. And then you can mess with your brightness here too, and each clip is gonna be different. And over here for saturation, if there's any color in your thing, you can go ahead and either add that or subtract that. And because I have a tint color down in here, we can either just make it pure white, or we can give it a color. So here you can see that the effect is pretty cool and it adds a little bit of that film glow effect to the highlights and just be careful not to overblow it and just to be subtle with the effect because it goes a very long way. And for the most part, if you created this effect and all of your other footage was in the same exposure, then you're good to go just to go ahead and copy and paste it to everything. But for the most part, I would kind of go back through and tweak each one individually. The one thing that you just have to keep conscious of is that glow radius. You probably want that a little bit higher, that way it just smooths out and it looks a little bit more natural and like it was shot. It adds a really cool glow effect and I think this effect is really handy to give it more stylistic feel and something that you guys may want to use. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If you're still confused about a couple of things, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you guys on that. If you want to see more, go ahead and let me know if you want more effects like this and I'll go ahead and keep creating them. And if you're subscribed to DoorDash, Spotify, Apple Music, or like HelloFresh, or anything else that has subscription based, you might as well hit subscription here and just join it all together. Especially because this one's free and it gives you information that is very helpful for you and you don't have to pay for it so do with that what you may anywho i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out